Welcome to another episode of Rio comes to shoot with his GW690 again. So how's it going guys? Rio Murata, photographer based in Tokyo. I have to admit last week and this week has been chaotic. Uh, it's been raining for the past two weeks or so and a typhoon, two typhoons actually swept across Japan. The first one did disastrous damage towards the western part of Japan actually, the Kyushu region and Shikoku in that area. And the second one was like, what the heck was that? And it was like sort of like a gust of wind actually. So I was not able to like make videos shooting outside and that's basically the reason why I shot these like random the videos where I talk about a photo book and a review on a sort of review or more like visiting a camera shop and stuff like that, blah, blah, blah. But this time around, because it's like sunny out, I thought why not go out to shoot with my me favorite medium format camera, the Fuji GW690. And this time around, I it got me thinking like where to shoot and one location stuck out in particular and it's called the Tokyo International cruise terminal located on near around Odaiba area actually and this is like I said it's sort of like a cruise terminal which basically accommodates cru cruises like docking in but due to this pandemics we all know that not many cruise ships are like going from across borders and I thought it would be a great time to visit this location in particular because I know it's isolated and you guys know I like to take look take photos of locations that are super isolated no people and it leads into what the Japanese government is starting to impose on tourists and they sort and the Japanese government recently said that they would open borders for foreign tourists to visit Japan from October 11 they're gonna open borders and what's interesting is there's they're gonna like enable this sort of like or lift this restriction of visa free travel to Japan actually and if you guys know before the pandemics there were roughly 4 million travelers who traveled to Japan within the one year before the pandemic started and you guys don't know how many people 4 million is but roughly speaking Paris in France has roughly 10 million like tourists visiting per year actually on an average so we're and in Japan specifically that number is actually increasing by roughly 1.1 to 1.2 million per year so theoretically speaking when we open up our borders within probably three to four years or so we're gonna beat Paris France as a tourist destination and what I'm trying to say is that if that happens I'm gonna be sort of like alone you know because there's gonna be so many people and not many locations to like shoot photos because you guys know my style of shooting photos is shooting isolated locations where there's like roughly no people and right now I thought it would be great to just go out to this location in particular to just shoot photos and yeah just leave it in my memory somehow so yeah going back on to topic so the Tokyo International Cruise Terminal is located on a station called the exact same Tokyo International Cruise Terminal Station which is uh, sort of like a monorail station and you can basically access this area from either from the uh, what was it from Shiodome Station which is there's a big, big, big ass television studio or the other way around is you can come from the Toyosu area which I shot a video on actually or beyond that it would be Shinbashi if I'm right another large station where a lot of salarymen work actually <laughs> going off topic so th there's a couple of ways of accessing this area but how I actually got to this location in particular was I rode the monorail and got off at Odaiba station Odaiba Kaihin Koen station and from there, I basically walked roughly 45 minutes to the Tokyo International Cruise Terminal Station, which is long to say. But the reason why I did that is I had my day off on a weekday. And it's really, really important to understand that on weekdays, this area in particular becomes really desolated. And you guys know I love desolated locations. And I thought I should grab a couple of shots along that way on my sort of like visit to the cruise terminal which took like 40 minutes to get to and there, because there were like it w were no people it was like really calming relaxing a relaxing walk to that terminal and 
Obviously, Odaiba is more like a shopping district, but if you're into like taking photos and stuff like that, I would highly suggest like walking around during the weekdays instead of the weekends, which is like, as always, I will be shooting with my GW Fuji GW690, a medium format camera that shoots big ass negatives with the Portra 400. And another thing to mention that my Portra 400 in my sort of like deposit in my fridge actually I realized that it's gonna expire this month so I thought like why not just go out and just shoot most of the rolls that I have in my like fridge and yeah and before it expires and 